Good morning. morning. Welcome to the last day of the DTS 2019 Arts Conference. Our conference this year has been underwritten by the Mimesis Endowment and the Communities Foundation of Texas. We're really grateful for their support. Our theme this year is the stories we tell. Eugene Peterson, best known for The Message, wrote this. God does not present us with salvation in the form of abstract truth or a precise definition or a catchy slogan, but as story. Madeleine Langle said Jesus was not a theologian. He was God who tells stories. The woman at the well said, come see the man who told me everything I've ever done. He told me my story. If we want to be like Jesus Christ, we need to tell his story and our story because we're all a walking story of his faithfulness. This morning we'll be guided in that effort by Professor Todd Agnew. <coughs> Prof Agnew has spent 30 years as a professional worship leader, pastor, and songwriter, and 15 of those years as a recording artist with Ardent Records. He came to DTS six years ago to pursue his love for the original languages, which fueled his passion for the Bible. When he and I co-led a worship course in Grand Rapids last January, of course he does every January, Michigan saw the worst ice storm they had seen in a decade. And I looked at our van and I looked at all the students and their luggage and thought, we're gonna miss our flights and we're gonna need to get lodging. I don't know how we're gonna do this. And Prof Agnew said, driving in a blizzard is no problem. He did this on his life on the road all the time and he's driven in worse conditions and we all made it home safely. In his life on the road, he garnered something like seven Dove Award nominations and about a million records sold. I had to Google that information because I've never heard him talk about it. In fact, this morning when I asked him to verify it, he said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to his credit, he is here not to uh, live on his accomplishments or make that a his identity, but rather as an acclaimed worship leader and as a, a professor in our media arts and worship department, he's here to mentor the next generation of theologians and artists and worshipers. So would you please welcome with me this morning, Prof Todd Agnew. Sorry. sorry, wait a second. I'm sorry. Would you please welcome Glenn Kreider, who's going to pray, and then Prof. Agnew. <laughs> sorry about that. <clears throat> the funny thing, we had just joked about that. <laughs> so would you pray with me? Our prayer this morning is adapted from the Book of Common Prayer and a contemporary poet. Oh, Heavenly Father, you have filled the world with beauty. Open our eyes to behold your gracious hand in all your works, that rejoicing in your whole creation, we may learn to serve you with gladness. For the sake of him through whom all things were made, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. A merciful creator, your loving hand is wide open to satisfy the needs of every living creature. Make us always thankful for your loving providence and give us grace to honor you with all that you have entrusted to us that we, remembering the account we must one day give, may be faithful servants of your good gifts, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. O God of Abraham and Sarah and Hagar, God of Isaac and Rebekah, God of Jacob and Leah and Rachel and Bilhah and Zilpah, great God of our mothers and fathers, whom saints and angels delight to worship in heaven, be ever present with your servants on earth who seek through art and music to perfect the praises of your people. Grant them even now true glimpses of your beauty and make them worthy at length to behold it unveiled forevermore through Jesus Christ our Lord. O Spirit of the living God, please be gracious and keep us today from merely adding to the noise. Your love is a symphony all around us. It's running through us. Your love is a melody underneath us, running to us. Your love is a song. May your song become our song. May your love be the melody of our song. May our eyes and ears be wide open to your song today. And may your hope be the anthem of our souls. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, we have some new people with us today, so I'm going to catch you up really quickly. Um, I think God wants us to continue to write songs. 
All right, let's go. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, one thing we talked about yesterday was that in Psalm 96, um, it, it, that it says to sing to the Lord a new song. But as it describes that new song, it says that we are going to share, we're going to celebrate his marvelous works among all the peoples. And we are some of those peoples. Um, and so my encouragement to you is there's wonderful worship music out there. Sing all of them that you can find that, seem, that sound true to you. And if you're not sure, come and ask someone. Um, but my encouragement to you is that Australia and California and Nashville are not going to tell the story of God's marvelous works in your life. So that they're wonderful songs, but I want us to continue writing so we're sharing what God's doing here. And we may only need to share it with ourselves. That's who we write for. We write so that we can worship. Um, and who knows what God does with stuff. Um, Chris and I wrote Grace um, just so that we could sing it sitting in a room. And uh, then we shared it at a youth group and then we shared it other places. And uh, now I've had to play it for 16 years. Um, <laughs> so the, one other thing that we, that we said yesterday is that um, in Nashville, kind of the, the way things operate is that you get a songwriting credit if you're in the room when the song is written. Um, because whoever you are, whatever you suggested, even if it didn't end up in the song, your presence made a difference. And I used that as a lobbying point for you to be involved. Whatever your skill set is, whatever your experience level is, only you know the story of what God has done in your life. And you sharing that with us uh, changes what, uh, what we can create. Um, so, to start us, I also want to look at what we're doing today and recognize that, hey, even what we're doing today, that there's more people in the room than are in the room, <laughs> that people have made this possible. You've already heard about financially some of the, uh, the gifts that made this possible, um, but you know, every faculty member, I, cause as I started writing out people last night, I, I was like, well, I can't leave them out. And I need to, because each faculty person that I was a part of their course shaped who I was and led to this moment. And once I realized that, I realized that all the other people in my life did the same thing. And all of a sudden, we weren't going to have time to write a song. Um, but... Uh, our department with Dr. Grant and Dr. Glon and Dr. Baslin and how they have been encouraging us in this area. Uh, it's been really instrumental. Um, what's already been going on um, in chapel with Patrick and Pastor Joe and, uh, and the leadership of our school with Dr. Bailey and Dr. Yarbrough and Dr. Timms, the direction that we've, the freedom, the newness based on the truth um, that we are being led into um, because God is still doing new things to uh, quote DC Talk from about <laughs> 1992 maybe. Um, but so, so when, as I've been studying worship pretty seriously for the last few years, I started noticing a connection between the scripture passages on worship and how often they mention thankfulness. And so I wanted us to start there to be thankful for all the people that made this possible, for how God made this possible. Um, and as we start trying to do something that's new for most of you, um, to be thankful for the experience. As we talk about the word of God, to be thankful that he gave it to us. And um, so, let's get started. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we still have new people. Um, so what I told them yesterday is we're gonna write a song and, uh, and 
I'm not going to go over all the parts with you. You're just going to have to jump in as we go. Um, but we're going to write about the Word of God. I figured it's something we should know about here. It would be a good place to start. And um, so if you took that seriously and went home and thought about it for five seconds or three hours and, uh, and said, hey, look, here's a scripture. Um, here's a story of mine. I would love for you to jump in. I know that's not normally how chapel works. We don't usually have the, hey, I'm just going to yell out something. Um, and, uh, but that is how songwriting works. Now, normally there's only like four of us. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a navigational nightmare. Um, ooh, alliteration. Um, but, uh, ooh, a little late. Okay, that's all right. Um, but share with me, share with us, what is the Word of God to you, scripturally, um, in your story, in your story at DTS, um, give me anything. I'll start with anything. Yeah. His grace is sufficient. God's word is profitable. Timely. All right, here we go. That's all right. I'm not scared. <laughs> he's he's got a bigger voice than you. Wise. Wise. Okay. You know, he is something for those who take refuge in him. That's all right. I read that same verse, and I don't remember what it is either. John 1, 1, the word was there before we were. You're off the screen. <laughs> Connection. What do you mean, Margaret? Oh, yeah, Margaret, right? What do you mean by that? It's how he communicates to us. It's how we connect with others. It's Like what? Cuts Some like cuts like a knife. That's already a song. <laughs> <laughs> that we officially don't know here. Excuse me. Okay. Somebody. Story of redemption. Story of redemption. Maybe that's what God is in Proverbs. It's a shield. A shield. That's, I like it. My soul is crushed with longing after your ordinances all, at all times. Can you put an arrow up on connection? <laughs>
never pass away. The word of God. Is this also like feelings that we have about the word of God? This is anything you want to say. <laughs> okay. uh, confusing at times. <laughs> Acerbic. Heavy. What was the second one? Uh, acerbic. I don't know how to spell that. Heavy. That's the... Uh, yes, heavy. It's part of the pressure of being the one up here. <laughs> you have to notice. So do you notice one complication that we already have in writing a lyric? Screen. Yeah, the screen's not big enough. No. <laughs> we can, we'll, we'll figure that out. That's, that's part of poetry, finding the right words to get it down to where it's singable. She said, we will lose our mind. And I'm like, <laughs> and I was like, you know, I'm going to write it down. It's a, what I meant, what I was thinking about is that I, I wanted to say at the beginning is that songwriting needs to be a safe place. You need to feel like you can throw something out there and it's okay to be wrong. It's okay for it not to be a complete idea that, that one, we are the body of Christ but two, we're a creative community, and we're not going to make fun of the fact that you just yelled that out, um, even though I've done it twice. Um, <laughs> so I apologize for that. Um, I'm not setting a good example. Um, but uh, the, I want you to feel like you can say something. If you're a theologian and you need to say progressive revelation, then just say that. You don't have to figure out how it fits in a song. Let the poet come in later, and you, you can work together to find the words. Or maybe you find the words yourself. But if you have the idea, if you, only you have your ideas, only you have your story. Um, I cannot guess what the Spirit is stirring in you. You have to tell me. Um, and so um, that's just a little encouragement, and we're going to come back to another thing in a second. not going to be easy to sing, but see, I did it already. I apologize. It is. Yeah, Steve. A window into Any specific weapon? <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. So we go into reality outside of our own. <clears throat> so one of the things that, that we're running into is that um, 
you, you get a lot of content. If, if people feel safe, if people feel like that their opinion is valid, um, and, and then you have to figure out, hey, how do you put all this together? And so one of the things about it being safe is I want you to know that everything you said is really valid and valuable, even if we don't put it in a song. <laughs> well, because we just don't have space. It's gonna be a really, really, really long song. Um, and, uh, and what you said might be the idea for the next song, for this thing that you need to, to go and write. Um, and, uh, and so once you get here, you're like, um, okay, so one of the problems we have is that in Scripture, the Word of God refers to at least three things. The Scripture itself, the Word spoken by God, often through the prophets, and Jesus. And so trying to write a song, all of a sudden you're shifting what you mean by the Word of God, and that can be confusing. It can be hard to tie things together. Um, at the same time, in songwriting and in lots of creative writing, you like the turn. <laughs> you, you like it to flip at some point, and so that might be something that helps us. Um, as you keep having ideas, write them down, throw them out when you need to, um, but let's A lot of stuff that I thought we were gonna have like three things, and so I've been I've been working all week thinking about how to stretch this out, <laughs> and uh, and we went the other direction, which is awesome. Um, so what's this song about? <laughs> I know what I told you it's about. I mean, you just heard what everybody said. Did you hear any themes? Did you hear anything? The unfolding of who God is. Yeah, yes, sir. It's a train that takes us from here to there. <clears throat> from here, from here to there. Put a pin in some stuff real quick because uh, we're already way into this. Um, and uh, so, if you think of great things, write them down um, and uh, email them all to uh, Dr. Yarbrough, and <laughs> he will uh, he will he will narrow those down for us. Um, don't really, please. I I don't want to get in trouble for that. That was just a joke. Um, <laughs> I love the unfolding of who God is. There's something really special in that, and I think we, uh, we can see it in a number of places here. Um, that when we start at the top, which is up here, um, that it, it unfolds that he is sufficient, um, that he is deserving of fear, he is timely, that he is true, he is wise, he is pure, um, and that he, that this is uncovered, this is revealed in his word. Um, 
and then somebody just went straight for it, reveals who God is. Um, so that's that's really beautiful. Um, oh, I really didn't think we were going to get this much content, and now I'm a little. Uh, my brain's a little overwhelmed. I don't. I don't do great with a whole lot of information at once. Um, anybody that does? Okay. <laughs> Just hoping for a little help here, but that's fine. Um, um, how do we say that the Word of God um, is the unfolding of who He is? Um because I, I like it. I like the language. I just, I, it doesn't feel like I can quite sing that line. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's one of the things you run into as a songwriter is you can write the story as your story. And my story encountering the Bible is exactly that. It's that I didn't know, and then reading the Bible, I came to know. Um, but I can also write it as the story of the Bible. Uh, I can write it as God's story, in which case there's not a not knowing. It's a, it's a, it's a story of revealing um, and both are really valid and valuable. Um, a <laughs> right, yeah. It's a B. Uh, yeah. I love the activity of that, uh, that you are... You are unfolding yourself to me. So if you took your verse and made it about the word, your word is this, your word is this, your word is this, and then the chorus shifts to celebrating that it is him revealing himself to us. Uh, there's something really, really beautiful in that. Uh, what, what was it? Okay, great. <laughs> oh, here, I'll take this one over here. Okay. We've already got the space for it. Oh, thanks. Really criticized. Sam, how did you say it again? He's unfolding. Unfold, yeah, he's holding us into himself. Into himself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the general idea. Um, so that would be, like we talk about in a creative writing course, if you haven't taken it, that's a good place to start, um, that, that you often save the, the unexpected one for the end. So at your chorus, it can be about God's unfolding himself to us. And then the, the trick at the end is that he is... In doing that, he is folding us into him. Um, all right, nine and a half minutes. It can. What is the first line of the song? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I'm in that key. 
what is this life all about? Is that what you said? <laughs> Sorry, I told you like it's lots of input <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm trying to do like a 500 piece puzzle all at one in nine minutes with people throwing pieces at me. <laughs> <laughs> and it, so just so you so just so you know since this like the goal of today isn't to actually write the whole song it's for you to be a part of the journey for you to see what you have to offer and we're gonna still try to get something done i'm not excusing myself from that <laughs> but um but so a songwriting process a lot of times does go this way and um in creative writing, uh, I call it the reclustering stage, where you've gotten all this awesome stuff, and then you finally realize that it's here, that this is where the song is, and then I start over, and find what's there. Um, yeah, I I don't think we have to completely start over because I think we've got a lot of great stuff, um, but if uh, if Folding yourself to me. It feels like that's the that's the line, and yet trying to sing it, I'm having a hard time going. There keeps being more syllables in it than I. Um, uh, well, we'll just write a song and. That's what it, we just kind of take it and just throw everything. In. Uh, okay. You're unfolding your love note. You're unfolding your, what was that? Love note. Love note. Mm -hmm. Love note, like it's passed to another person. Oh, yeah. Like middle school? Yes. <laughs> I always wanted to get one of those. <laughs> you, you're unfolding yourself to me. There. I, I knew it worked. I just couldn't find it because I kept thinking more things. You are, you are unfolding yourself to me. So how is he doing that? Oh, that's word by word, line by line, mine uh, free. What? Turn the page. Turn the page. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if he's talking to me or to you. Yeah, it's a day by day. Okay, that's nice. Word by word, line by line. They help me see day by day. Um, Contextual. Context yes. <laughs> that's one of the. Okay, so I'm gonna. Like, I know I don't have time, but I'm gonna tell this story anyway. So I was working on a song in Nashville one day, and, and a, a pro songwriter that has, you know, a, just awards for doorstops um, was looking at my song, and he's like, so this line for this small group of people is going to make them feel more connected than anything ever has. But if you'll take it out and make it more generic, it'll connect with a lot more people. And putting contextually is going to make it really, really work for us. <laughs> And it will also guarantee that no one else ever sings it. Um, <laughs> you are unfolding yourself to me. Word by word, line by line. Uh, endlessly? Endlessly. It works. Um, As a song, it works great. Trying to make sure this, this lands on the scripture, it, it takes us from, not admittedly, the Bible does have history books in it. I did pay attention. Um, 
but it takes us a little bit to a different direction. Um, so let's let's not get caught there. Yeah. I, I don't want to like. You're good. The, the flow, nope. Yeah, yeah. I'd... I almost wonder if we do that like as the end of the chorus, like because we could use this um, kind of where we are. You're unfolding yourself to me, word by word, line by line, endlessly. You are unfolding yourself. Something, something, something more, and again. <laughs> and then come in here and let, let it just land there. You are unfolding. You are unfolding. You are unfolding yourself to me. And you're folding and you're folding me into you that it, it kind of yeah it kind of yeah that might be the the bridge section where we go and do that and come back um you get the chorus done? Hey, Tom, oh sure yes sir actually actually i meant turn the page as a lyric right as a refrain because the, the metaphor is the word the word the written word and he is gradually unfolding himself Yeah, so that could, as we're, as we're getting to that, uh, that fourth line, you're unfolding yourself to me, word by word, line by line, if we had to use endlessly, then coming back, you're unfolding yourself to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of where I was going, page by page, um, age to age. Yeah, that's your history, Mark. Help me see. Not like two-year-olds and 80-year-olds. <laughs> right. Ooh, yeah, and it's an old Amy Grant reference. And we read thy word yesterday, so that's good. Yeah, I think, um, I think if we combine those two ideas, the simple and the action, that I think if we leave the chorus simple, then we've got verses that we can start doing all that and finding the right verbs and the, the what, what is it actually doing in us. That the, the chorus, we're just kind of sitting in that idea. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, that picks up where he was just was in John so you eight. Can say, you know, you're pulling yourself to me day by day or age by age, page by page, set me free. Could we say something about who he's unfolded himself as? Creator, sustainer, I think that we wanna yeah, I think we wanna use that as a verse that it, if we if we do too much that it'll um, it'll take us somewhere else. Um, page by page, age to age. Um, 
Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. It's the time and the present. Yeah. Timeless. It almost is like word by word, line by line, gradually. gradually, and page by page, age to age, endlessly. I like that. Um, ooh. So this is totally what songwriting is like. Is you do things, and then one person says something that makes something happen, and everybody goes, "Oh, that's it." Um, so since we're uh, a minute and 41, two, three seconds over already, um, we're going to leave it here. And uh, yeah, and, uh, and then we'll let the chorus just end with the unfoldings. So it'll just be something like, You are unfolding yourself to me Word by word, line by line, gradually Hey guys, thank you so much. I had no idea how this was going to go, and I'm super encouraged by it um, because it kind of, all the things that I've been dreaming about that we could do, you just showed me that we can, um, and I really appreciate that. So I'm going to wrap us up by telling you what's next. The original idea was, hey, we're going to talk about songwriting. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a song, and then we're going to come in and do Arts Week and go, here's our song. Look. DTS people can write songs. Um, and so when I heard that idea, I'm like, hey, I love it. And can we do completely the opposite? Um, can we come in to Arts Week and cast a vision and say, you can write the songs for the church. We need you to write the songs for the church. And rather than showing you what we'd already done, can this be the beginning? So what we're planning on doing is this, telling you what songwriting is kind of like, doing it a little bit together, and then throughout the school year, continuing to do that. We're going to schedule times for songwriting. We're going to try to let you know really well when that's going to be. We're going to bring in some different people to write with us, to show us their process, to show how they write for their church. And, uh, and we'll get to learn from them as well. And so that's where we're heading. This, this isn't the end of Arts Week. I mean, it is. But <laughs> it's not the end of what God's doing here. It's the beginning. And, uh, and we're excited about that. Thank you so much for being a part. I'm sorry that I kept you five minutes too long. Um, but that just makes it feel like a real chapel. Um, <laughs> All right, let me pray for us. God, we love you. May you be honored and glorified by all the creative acts that come out of this group. The songs we write, the lives we live, the words we say, may you be honored and glorified in our lives, even in the next few minutes. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, guys.